Welcome back to Vore's Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa and he's Charles. Don't forget to like our video. It lets us know that you actually like the content that we are putting out. It also helps YouTube algorithm get more of our videos out there for people like you and people like us. Don't forget to comment down below and keep subscribing. You may want to comment on this one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We're back with a review. With our RLJE slash shutter review. Yes. As you know, we do a lot of shutter around this household. Of course. And you know, as, as big cage fans. Mm-hmm. So, uh, finally watched this last night. It has Nicholas Cage and Joel Kinnaman in it. Mm -hmm. I cannot, uh, interested to do a review on this. I'm like, I really enjoyed this movie. You got to see the psycho side of Cage. Yes. Which I love to see. I love when he acts like that. Because you, you never know what the oh, fuck Oh, you never know what's going to go. But, uh, Sympathy for the Devil. And this is the 4K Stillbook. Yes. And here's the sign and here's the back and it says when the devil's in the details there's hell to pay and there is disc art and inside art so the synopsis of this film takes mainly in the car so you got a driver and a passenger and Nicolas Cage is the passenger and Joel Kinnaman is the driver well Joel Kinnaman is on his way to the hospital to have a baby with his wife well Nicolas Cage gets in the back of the car and makes him drive obviously pulls a gun so he thinks he's trying to rob him or whatever and he's going through and he's like hey, you're gonna go here and then you're gonna turn here you're gonna turn here well Nicolas Cage obviously has that psychotic you know mindset in this and he believes that the driver is somebody that's not on his driver's license yeah. and he keeps getting him to tell the truth because he wants to know the truth of what is going on and of course the driver's character is telling him i don't know who the fuck you're looking for because it ain't me <laughs> <laughs> but it keeps going there's decent amount amount of killing in this. It's not gory. It's just you know straightforward. Nicholas Cage kills these people and he walks away. <laughs> he, he shows no remorse in it. Too. No, he doesn't. And then you hear about more of Nicholas Cage's character on what's going on with him, and and then they get to a diner, and this diner is pretty interesting because he definitely goes psychotic in this one. But he ends up putting a song on and he like sings this like yeah. disco song and starts dancing, <laughs> which makes you laugh because it's weird to see somebody who's being psychotic to be like dancing to some disco music, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this movie is such a great movie. Definitely don't sleep on this movie at all. Cage has red hair in this too. Yes, yeah, so actually, tidbit. Nicholas Cage showed up on set with red hair. He didn't tell nobody. He just freaking did it. He said, this is what's going to happen. This is how it's going to be. <laughs> and he also made, it was actually supposed to be set in New York. And he made them change it to Vegas. Because mm -hmm. Nicholas Cage is actually an executive producer on this film. Mm. So why would you want in New York with all the smog and the rats and the... The leeches and the illegal. I guess because where he's from. Well, Vegas is more colorful than what New York yes. is. Yes, and I think that's what Nicolas Cage wanted. I think yeah. he wanted to have all the colors, all the lights, and all of yeah. that in it. And so the director's like, okay, no problem. They switched it over to Vegas. Yeah. Very good movie, though. Yes, very good movie. Definitely, like I said, do not sleep on this movie. Like, go and pick this movie up. Uh, it, uh, they got pulled over. Cage kept telling them not to. Uh, drive fast or well, he's seen a cop with a speed trap so he sped up to purposely get pulled over and then cage started asking questions then the cop started getting mad he pulled the gun the cop pulled the gun on uh, cage and uh, he's like I'm just trying to ask you a fucking question and he's like sir you need to get out of the car and then he just shoots him yep he killed multiple cops <laughs> <laughs> And multiple people. Yeah. Especially uh, when he got to the diner, which was actually called the Roadhouse. 
That was cool, wasn't it? Yes, the Roadhouse Diner. Them two done beat the shit out of each other. He broke Nicholas Cage's nose. He was mad about... He went from 100% sexy down to 50% sexy. He was upset about that. Yeah. And then... He, there was a lot of cussing in this movie. Yes. M mainly from Cage. Well, he is psychotic in this film. Yeah. When he gets in the car, like, somewhat normal, and then he just, like, turns the switch on, and there you go. He definitely doesn't like to be interrupted, either, if you interrupt him and pisses him off. Yeah. But, I mean, he's killing people left and right. Mm -hmm. And he's very fun. He's very, very entertaining in this. Do not sleep on this mm -hmm. movie. The transfer looked excellent. It's in HDR, so it's finally good to see a movie in HDR. Because we've been seeing a lot in Dolby yeah, Vision. Very colorful. Mm -hmm. Sound was pretty good, too. It was in uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Yeah. And you had four interviews. One with Joel Kinnaman, another one with Nicolas Cage, another one with the producer, and the one with the director. We actually watched all four of them just to hear about it. They're yeah, like they a, actually weren't very long. No, they're about a little over a minute long, but mm -hmm. they're interesting uh, little tidbits to hear, yep. though. But I highly recommend this. It's probably one of my favorite movies that I've seen with him lately because it's awesome to see him go psycho. I love I love when when he does that. That's yep. one of his best. Uh, character traits don't you think yes I, I agree the way Nicolas Cage portrays himself he knows how to go in the mindset to any movie so I mean Nicolas Cage can go from being a total psychopath to being somebody who's like your next door neighbor that you absolutely love and bring over cookies like that's the one thing I do love about Nicolas Cage is he definitely knows when he takes a role he actually goes straight up into it he like takes his family and he does what he needs to do so that he can portray the character he needs to be portraying. He's about the only actor that I know that does that. Mm -hmm. Why well, he's in a league of his own. Mm -hmm. Literally. He literally is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, Just like a Tom Cruise. He's in a league of his own with mm -hmm. his movies. I'd have to say Cage is one step above him when it comes to being psycho. Because mm -hmm. he can... One minute he's just normal, and next minute it's... Yes. What do you think? Yep. Great movie. Let us know if you actually picked up the Blu-ray, or if you waited to get the 4K, because the Blu-ray came out before the 4K, and they let you know ahead of time that the 4K was coming. It was just a little delayed. And people still complained. And they still complained. I don't know why you did, because you knew ahead of time that it was still yeah, coming you out. you knew it was coming. <laughs> and when the 4K it wasn't was... like... You know, they, they put the movie out on Blu-ray, and then six months later, they put out the 4K. No, it was like a couple weeks later, you got the 4K. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people did that. I don't know. I guess they hear themselves bitch. The world's nothing but, world's nothing but four bitches. Yes. <laughs> but definitely let us know down below your comments on this movie, how much you enjoyed it, whether you didn't enjoy it, how you feel about Nicolas Cage, how he portrayed himself in this movie, and if you picked up the Blu-ray or the 4K. Do you like Nicolas Cage acting like yes. this? Yes. Or does stuff like this offend you? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't mean you. No, me either. Well, you know, you got upset a little bit. You started crying and had to calm me down a little bit. I didn't cry. I had to go get you a tampon and you're good to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> like tampon down. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is our review. And definitely our recommendation to mm -hmm. pick up Sympathy for the Devil. If you can still get the still book, if not, pick up the Blu-ray. Yes. It's definitely worth to have in your collection. It is definitely rewatchable and rewatchable over time. Mm -hmm. That is it. See you on next one. Bye.